What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you a dynamite video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War, and in today's video, we're talking about the new Season 5 Neutral Units, okay? In this video, we're talking about the Werewolves. The Werewolves are one of the strongest units in the game, and I'm not just saying that to hype them up. We will talk about exactly how and why in just a second, so give me that like and sub. Let's rock and roll, baby. Yes! Ah. All right, Werewolves. So... Werewolves are found in the Enid Wraith region, okay, as you can see here where my little pointer is, right, I'm over here in this location, that is where you can find them, they are fantastic, alright, uh, so once you are able to locate a werewolf camp, you're going to go ahead and click on them, like this, you're just going to click on them a whole lot, yes, like that, okay, and it's going to bring up their unit selection menu, okay, let me move my face out of the way, I feel like my face is in the way, let's move my face out of the way, <clears throat> put it up there for a minute, Okay, um, so the werewolves are fantastic. They are beasts, okay? Um, their abilities include, right, the unnatural presence, which is insane, okay? Against mounted units and beasts, they're going to receive 40% reduced damage. That is insane, okay? I just want to make sure you guys understand that. They are taking 40% reduced damage from mounted units and beasts. 40% reduced damage from mounted units and beasts, okay? I cannot say that enough. How many people have you seen running around with full mounted unit marches? A lot. These units are going to be absolutely insane, okay? Uh, next, we have Furious Swipes, which is going to inflict additional damage, so their damage is going to be astronomical. They're going to deal 50% bonus damage as an ability trigger, which is fantastic, okay? And then... The third ability is Bloodlust. This is going to cause them prior to prioritize targets with a bleed. This is going to pair very well with commanders that have bleeds, such as Yisra, right? Or Lurts, Agzok, uh, and I'm sure there's plenty of good commanders with beautiful bleeds as well, okay? The new bleed ability means every time you take physical damage, you now trigger bleed. So, just to make sure you understand this, okay? The swipe ability will trigger a second instance of bleed so not only will the werewolves deal good damage to start if the target has a bleed on them the werewolves are going to trigger two instances of bleed damage on the target all right which is fantastic okay i was doing some testing with agzok last season my bleeds were ticking anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 damage so if you're getting two ticks even at the low end of 5,000 damage times two that's 10,000 damage around if there's a bleed out there on the field okay that is crazy. Now, into their actual stats, let's take a look at that and tell you how I feel about it, okay? Their damage, right? Um, their damage is actually pretty substantial. 1,400 to 1,600 range, right? Because there's two units per command. As you can see up here, two units per command. So this damage per command of 14 to 1,600, average of 1,500 is right there. Uh, I think trolls are about 1,200, 1,100 to 1,200, depending on which ones. Uh, you got Mama Kills at, uh, what, 1,500. So they're right there in the sweet spot. They're going to deal decent damage. Um, they don't have low damage, which is nice, okay, because there have been a few neutral units that came out. They were supposed to be high DPS and low damage. These guys have good damage. They're right there in the running, okay. HP-wise, they're a little bit squishy. Uh, consider them similar to uh, maybe a uh, an infantry with 41 HP, per unit, you know, with 100 command, so they're only going to have, um, right, uh, 4,200 HP per command, which isn't super duper high, it's half of a mama kill, I'm just comparing them to mama kills for the moment, okay, but it's still not bad, okay, it's still not bad. The next thing we've got here is the defense, the defense at 120 is fantastic, one of the higher defenses in the game for a uh, really any melee unit on the field so it's nice to see a high defense target very very beautiful and then we have the speed at 150 the speed at 150 is absolutely fantastic okay that is a gorgeous thing to see that's going to be a, a very very useful especially against cavalry marches which we already know you're going to be strong against the mounted units right and yet we didn't talk about the increased focus damage received okay so yes Werewolves will take additional focus damage, so if you are running werewolves, you're going to want to run a high damage build that kills the enemy before, you know, round three when enemy focus commanders deal their nukes, uh, really get as many 
enemy command off the field as possible, okay? Um, all right, their siege is terrible. 500 siege per command, absolutely disgustingly terrible. <laughs> so you're not going to be using these guys on your siege commanders, but uh, very high damage, um, decently tanky, and very, very fast, okay? Now, since this is Season 5, we have to talk about the elite skills, okay? Because the elite skills on these guys are just as nasty as their main skills, which is fantastic, okay? So we're going to go to our elite training camp. Let's scroll down. Take a look at the werewolves and see where we're at, okay? So these things are crazy. Their original ability is just going to give them a total of 20% reduced damage received when fighting on a non-structure this is super duper nice just just off the get-go. You may decide to stick with this just to make them more tanky since their HP is a little bit lower, okay? Um, however, their next ability, once they hit Elite Level 2, is probably one of my favorite abilities uh, for them because it's going to reduce enemy defense, or, well, it's going to ignore 50% of enemy defense, which is going to be absolutely crazy. So they're already dealing an average of 1,500 damage per command. They're getting an additional 50% swipe in there, right? So now they're actually dealing closer to uh, 2,250 damage per command, which is right up there with Reapers when they're maxed out. So Reapers going into round 5, right, are going to be up in that 22 damage range. So these Werewolves with their double strike with the swipe are already up in the 22 damage range with that skill maxed out having the pierce here to ignore 50 percent of the target's defense that is going to be sick nasty so this is probably the skill i'm going to run when i get werewolves okay and i will get them soon don't you doubt it all right oops um next they have the lethal strike ability uh, this is interesting it's going to cause additional damage when the target is being healed um I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's a. Uh, it's some. I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know what's gonna happen. So, I don't. Uh, it's tough to decide if this is gonna be stronger than the uh, the piercing blows, right? Because the piercing blows is gonna just bypass a static fifty percent target defense, whereas the other one is really based on healing. So, if you're fighting against a commander that doesn't deal any healing, lethal strike is gonna be useless for you. Okay. And then, of course, the Tier 3 uh, Elite abilities with Army HP, okay? You have uh, your Healing Received, which I wouldn't really use, and then your Conscription Hiring Time. So these are interesting abilities. Um, you can either hire them really fast. The Army HP is nice. You can combine this with a few other units that have similar Army, army bonuses and make crazy tanky armies. But again, I'm a pure damage guy, right? So... I'm going for Pierce every time, all right? So, those are my recommendations, guys. I would run Pierce, okay? I would run it with a commander that can apply a bleed from some sort of laceration or other bleed ability. You can also pair these werewolves up with half-trolls. Half-trolls deal bleeds as well, all right? So, that is the video, folks. I love you a long time. Hopefully, this theory crafting helped you out. Randy, ah. Uh. <laughs>